Twitter ads photo tagging. I'm Jeff Bacalar filling in for Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET update. Some big features are being released for mobile Twitter users today. The company announced that it will start allowing users to tag others within tweeted photos. In fact, you'll be able to tag up to 10 people in total, and none of your precious 140 characters will be at risk either. You'll also be able to upload a maximum of four photos at once, which the service will then automatically format into a nice collage. Again, these features seem to only be available to mobile platforms, so you'll need to update your iOS or Android app to get the changes. Also, it's being rumored that Twitter might actually do away with the retweet button and change it simply to just the share button. I don't know how we'll survive. Word is that Spotify might be prepping an IPO for this fall. The six-year-old music streaming service has had an explosive 24 months despite criticism that it doesn't pay artists nearly enough. Analysts describe the prospect of an IPO as attractive simply because most of the company's revenue is a result of subscriptions and not necessarily advertising. The timeline for the IPO is subject to change though it appears that Spotify is well on its way to being a publicly traded company. So what does Amazon have planned for streaming video? Well, invites for an event in New York City have gone out to members of the press today that teases a chat with Peter Larson. He's Amazon's Kindle vice president. Of course, this has led to a wide spectrum of rumors, including everything from a new Amazon set-top box, a possible gaming console, or even something totally different altogether. We'll have live coverage of the event when it happens on April 2nd. Microsoft Office is finally coming to the iPad, because you've been wanting that forever. Today the company made the news official, though iPad users will still have access to plenty of other alternatives, not to mention the fact that these alternatives are free, as opposed to the cost of Office 365, which is needed to have full access to the Office suite of apps. Are you one of those gamers who loses their cool playing online? You people are the worst. Well, starting soon, you're going to have to find a way to keep yourself in check thanks to Xbox One reputation warnings. Gamers will be separated into different levels of reputation status, including good, needs work, or avoid me. And trust me, you don't want that avoid me tag. That's your tech news update. Head on over to CNET.com for more details on these stories and be sure to follow me on Twitter. Please do that right now. From our studios here in New York, I'm Jeff Backel.